kept you waiting, huh? This is Dingus. Dingus is a deep reinforcement learning AI cube. Dingus experiences and learns by observing the world around him using a variety of sensors and a bunch of reward functions programmed into him. The sole source of joy and happiness in Dingus' world is locating secret technology. And just like you and me, Dingus hates falling into bottomless pits and getting caught by enemy agents. Dingus's mission, should he choose to accept it, is to collect a whole bunch of technology while avoiding agents in a series of increasingly more complicated rooms. Will Dingus succeed? Or will this be a case of fission mailed? <coughs> Only way to find out is to let Dingus train. And so we begin. A new Dingus is born into the world, with no clue about anything, what feels good or bad, how to move, what I'm even supposed to do here. He has to learn by experimenting, bumping into things, dying, lots of dying, mostly dying, and a few successes, he will eventually learn what feels good and he should do, and what feels bad and he should avoid. Now after a while of just fumbling around and accomplishing nothing, Dingus starts actually moving. This is a huge accomplishment. It suggests that he's either figuring out that getting hit feels bad, or that getting the technology feels good, but regardless, he's now making an active attempt to go and get some sweet technology. Unfortunately, his brilliance seems to have extended to only getting one and then giving up, welcoming sweet death shortly afterwards. So hopefully we can see some further growth from here soon. This is the next big milestone for Dingus. After getting the technology, he moves a little bit further out of the range of the agent. At this point he seems profoundly confused as to what to do next, but it's a bit better than getting caught after getting a single technology. But he actually does even better than that. Venturing a little bit more forwards towards that sweet technology, he goes out and grabs another one, and then heads up, now hungry for even more. With no new technology within really short reach, he does seem a little bit confused and mostly terrified as he inches his way forwards toward more technology, unfortunately resulting in his capture again. After another run of basically the exact same thing, oh my god, look at all that fear. Thingus makes another breakthrough, overcoming his fear and moving over towards the right side of the level, getting another technology and leaving only one left. But now, we have a big problem. Dingus has found a way to get all but one of the technology, but the path that he's taking, if he takes it at that speed, will always lead to him head-on colliding with the vision range of the enemy agent. His only solutions are to find a different route, or to learn to be fast enough that he can get to that final technology before he gets caught. And special shout out to this run, where he goes so fast, he even misses one of his previous technologies. Which leads us to this run, where Dingus starts at a really good pace and only improves as he goes along, almost catching up to the enemy agent right before he passes him. This gives him so much extra time that he's able to get that final technology way before detection, which takes him to stage 2. Now stage 2 has two enemies, the same number of technologies, and a wider, more complicated layout. It was my expectation that it would take a while for Dingus to figure out this new problem space. But as you can see, in his very first attempt, he chose a path that made a lot of sense. He did get confused right at the end, and I do wonder how long it will take him to figure out, you know, that he needs to turn down instead of just keep going. But that was way more successful than I expected. As it turns out, it didn't actually take that many attempts. Dingus has already figured out how to perfect the route that he initially started with. And so with that, Dingus has already sorted out two of the three levels I designed for him. However, level three is a substantial step up in difficulty. Way more routes to take, way more technology to collect, and three enemies to try and dodge. Everything before this was a warm up for this level. Still though, it's a remarkably good attempt before he gets caught. So with a bit more training, Dingus has experimented a lot with different ways to combat this level, leading to a really interesting run that shows a lot of progress. This was a really remarkable run, but it kind of highlights one of the big dangers that Dingus will be in moving forwards. Some pieces of technology are just very frequently unreachable, 
and because there's a maximum time limit, Dingus has to figure out how to prioritize those while still getting everything else. So while we've got a little bit of time while he trains up, I've got a few statistics on Dingus for this run. While you're watching one Dingus try and solve a level each time, what's actually happening behind the scenes is that there are 81 other identical Dingus agents all training at the same time, feeding that information back to the machine learning model so that it can learn much faster. Essentially, if we've got 82 agents practicing all at the same time, that means we're learning 82 times faster. Which I'm all keen for! Dingus really struggles here with getting the bottom middle two technologies. They're the ones that are the most patrolled, and he has a habit of leaving them for last, and when he's at low time, there's not really an option to get them because they're always being patrolled. He does make a few attempts at getting them earlier, which set him up for later success, but those are few and far between. He really needs to make that leap in logic. We start to see a shift in strategy now, he is going for those bottom middle two sets of technologies. He seems to realize that those are just not going to happen unless he gets them right then and there. I honestly wondered whether the AI would be capable of making these larger decisions. Micro decisions are really easy for AI, but more macro ones that requires changing entire routes and big plans, that's pretty substantial and he seems to be managing it pretty well. And then finally, we get this run. Little cube figured it out. He's done it. So this video came out super late, like six, seven, maybe eight, maybe longer months late. Yeah, wow, that's late. A lot happened. I lost my job, and then I had to sell my home, and then I found a new one, and then we had a break in. Wow, so much has changed. Getting a new machine learning setup and a new recording setup has been difficult and involved, let's say. Also, just finding the time to edit this stuff uh, and program it and train it has been pretty difficult lately. New job means a lot of extra asks. I'm really happy that I was finally to get this out. I really hope you enjoy it too. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching.